like the drug ad questions won't even seem hard after this all of the options are risk factors for the particular disease and all of these will like fetch you points super easily you might either want to write it down or you might want to put it into a flash card these episodes are gold it all just differs and depends on the scenario hello everyone welcome back in this video i'm going to be telling you guys about divine intervention podcasts if you're interested in medical videos quizzes interviews with doctors and many other things related to medicine do subscribe to my channel you can also find me on instagram divine is a resident who has created close to 300 podcasts which are super important for medical students so in this video i'm going to be giving you a list of important podcasts that you have to listen to for the usmle and i will also give you their respective duration and how to take notes from each of them so i discovered these podcasts when i was looking for resources that cover the november changes of the usmle step to ck if you want to know in what way it has become different i I recommend you to add this video to your watch list where I have spoken about it and have also shared my USMLE step to CK experience. So most of the podcasts that I listened to had questions throughout. It was not like Divine was just teaching and you had to just listen. So it's a really 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 good tool for active recall. Firstly, this is a collection for internal medicine. The whole thing is about 10 hours long. Episode 21 and 223 focus on pediatrics. Surgery is covered in episodes 24, 180 and 221. Obstetrics and gynecology are explained in episodes 22, 118 and 239. Note that there are more episodes for each of them which you can watch if you want to but make sure you don't skip the ones I've mentioned here. Episode 23 and 164 cover psychiatry. Um, Neurology has many episodes so we have a uh, episode 19 and all the episodes ranging from 45 to 49 and episode 58 and 59. Besides these main topics there are few other high yield episodes which i want to point out episode 36 for ophthalmology episode 41 for antibiotics 100 for microbiology 102 for cancer 104 for acls arrhythmias and cardiac pharmacology episode 135 for electrolytes and 173 for immune deficiencies there are certain episodes which are available in form of videos as well The, the entire internal medicine episode 21 from pediatrics 22 from obgyn 23 from psychiatry and 24 from surgery are available in form of videos on divine's youtube channel so each video has a powerpoint slide which he has linked in the description so download that first You can do this in two ways. Number one, you can just download the PowerPoint slide, try to solve the questions on your own, maybe even time yourself if you want to, and then listen to his entire video to see what mistakes you've made. Alternatively, you can like listen to his video and try to solve the question simultaneously and you know just pause whenever he asks a question and try to figure it out. You can do it either ways, but I feel like method number 2 saves a lot of time, but if you do method number 1, you can sort of see if you are able to solve a lot of questions within a short period of time and you know to sort of build your stamina as well. So that's completely up to you whatever you like, you can just you can do whatever suits your schedule so if you feel like you are closer to your exam and you just want something to sort of fill in your knowledge gaps and sort of help you with the new usmle step to ck these are the things that you have to watch first is biostatistics so now episode number 143 of biostatistics focuses on your basic formula stuff like your sensitivity specificity risk reduction attributable risk and all of that so what i did was i would listen to divine and I would try to solve the thing myself and then I'd like listen to the answer and sort of understand okay what is going wrong and how different is my approach there are a few formula based questions but majorly what you should focus on in this episode is the whole confidence interval significant difference null hypothesis and all those complex biostat stuff the best part is that divine doesn't just tell you facts he explains the concept behind them so everything makes so much sense like trust me like the drug ad questions won't even seem hard after this because all of them will be 
pure logic you have to just apply what divine has taught you that's it then there's episode 197 for biostats now this deals with all the bias like you know your lead time bias length time bias and divine has given like good examples for each of them i had mentioned in my previous usmle step to ck experience video that ethics is super different right now and there are like a lot of extra features that have been added to it so these are a list of podcasts that are going to help you with it so episode number 123 and episode 276 focus on your basic ethics like the ones which you've learned from step 1 that patient autonomy confidentiality and how to communicate with patients and all those basic ethics stuff now step 2 doesn't just want you to know what to do right it also wants you to know how to prevent doing the wrong things and how to deal with a situation when something wrong has happened so they've also added topics like patient safety diagnostic errors transition of care errors and also infection prevention and control these topics are covered by episodes 230 275 234 and 277 respectively like ethics is like a very gray area because like there are some things that you that are acceptable with certain patients but some things that are not so it all just differs and depends on the scenario so i feel like divine has gone over a lot of scenarios so it will sort of help you understand what you should be doing in different cases and we should also know about palliative care there are a lot of tiny details about the kind of comfort measures the criteria for palliative care and how to approach such patients so all of that is covered in episodes 228 and episode 268 uh step 2 ck has also started testing us on conditions which are commonly seen in military personnel some examples are ptsd traumatic brain injury and some kind of infectious diseases and also like special vaccination schedules for them these are covered by episodes 204 and 231 okay now these episodes are like the most important things if you have been studying for the step 2 ck for a while i'm sure you would have come across at least one question which would have been something like what is the most likely cause of xyz and when you come across such questions even the options would be in such a way that all of the options are risk factors for the particular disease that they are asking you for so how exactly do you go about it there might not be any wrong answer at all but what they are asking you for is the most likely answer and this is why these episodes are gold so there's episode number 37 and episode 97 so these episodes cover the most common cause the most likely likely cause the most likely complication and the most likely outcome and all you know all of those most likely questions and all of these will like fetch you points super easily and along with this episode 184 is brilliant there's one particular recommendation that i have for this podcast is that listen to episode 184 after completing your nbme because the title of this episode is nbme weird so basically it focuses on all those super vague and NB- nbme quest if you do this before taking your nbmes you might have a falsely elevated nbme score because you would have already come across those concepts in this podcast now let's say you don't have enough time to do the basic stuff but you still feel like you want to you know strengthen your basics and try to do something more i'd recommend you to take a look at the rapid review series there are like seven podcasts for internal medicine two separate ones for cardiology there are four for surgery three for obstetrics and gynecology three for pediatrics and two for psychiatry there's also like a mixture of different subjects and topics which are added under the rapid review mixed category and this has a bunch of 27 episodes oh and there's also one on bone and two general step 2 ck stuff okay so when you learn a particular thing you might either want to write it down or you might want to put it into a flash card 
so here's how i do it if there is just one fact that i have learned i just put it into a flash card like for example if the fact that i just learned was the most common cause of stroke is hypertension so i try to make it into a flash card saying that what is the most common cause of stroke and then the back side would be hypertension but if there is some sort of protocol or a concept that is involved it might not make sense for me to put the whole thing into just one flash card a protocol is like okay a patient is coming in with this this symptom so what do you do next maybe you do an ultrasound if the ultrasound is positive you do this test if ultrasound is negative you do this test if if say ultrasound is positive and then you go to a ct if ct is positive you do one thing if ct is negative you do another thing so that's how a protocol works i'm just giving you like a rough idea of what this is it might make sense to make flashcards for each one of them but ultimately you need to be able to put it into a big picture right so i feel that's when flowcharts are going to be extremely helpful so try to make flowcharts for protocols make sure you look at your flowcharts every day put them up on your wall doors refrigerator anywhere so that you're reminded to review them if you like this video please give it a thumbs up leave a comment and share it with your friends and share it with a lot of people because that will mean a lot to me and if you have any questions regarding these podcasts usmle or anything related to med school just leave them in the comments i will get back thank you for watching and i'll see you next time